Giving yourself that unique, extraordinary look depends greatly on the closet or the tailor that you choose to wear from. Welcome to the Fashion Insider and I am Fatima Jawar. Today I'm at Ida's Idea, a place where top Gambian celebrities and the president at large do dress from. Do follow me to see more and hear more from the horse's mouth. Thank you. Giving yourself the unique, extraordinary look depends greatly on the closet or the tailor that you choose to wear from. Welcome to the Fashion Insider and I am Fatima Jawar. Guess what viewers, today I'm at Ida's Idea, a unique tailoring shop where even the president and the first ladies dress from. So I'll allow her to introduce herself before we get into the interview format. Welcome auntie. Welcome and thank you. It's a pleasure for accepting my invitation at a prompt uh, stage, but nevertheless auntie, to, uh, upon my entrance towards here, I've seen so much within your fashion capability and I believe all this is within the Ida's idea invention. Mm -hmm. Okay, Auntie, um, I would want to know about your biography as, yeah, your biography in short. Um, good morning to everybody, to, good to all Gambians, customers, friends. Um, I'm very pleased to be with you today. Um, when you talk of ideas, ideas, it's a long story and it's a history. Mm -hmm. And it will take me the whole day, but I'll just try and brief it. Um, ideas, ideas is owned by Ida Sen Conte, mm -hmm. daughter of Usman Sen and Amiseka, wife of Alaji Conte. Mm -hmm. And it all came from my grandmom, because I was brought up by my grandmom. Um, Aji Ami Senghor and my granddad, Alaji Maliglir. Um, they brought me up when I was one year, six months. Um, and the whole idea of ideas, ideas came from my grandmom because she was a seamstress. And they never wanted me to go out playing. Like I was always in the house. So they make sure I stock myself inside the house and occupy myself there. Then my grandmom had a hand sewing machine. So one day I wanted to go out and then she said, you're not going out, you have to stay at home. I said, but grandma, I want, it, I want to play with my friends. Then she told me, go and play with that machine. Oh. Yeah, so that was how it all came about. I told her, how can I play with this machine? I cannot even sew. And then she told me, just go and play with the machine. It was a hand sewing machine. So then I started using the machine, you know, playing with it. Then one day he said, she, my, my grandmom came and told me, Ida, can you um, try and fix my outfit for me? Because something happened to the wrapper, the, 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 the string came out. I said, how can I do that? I cannot even sew. Then she started helping me to thread the machine. And then from there, that was how it started. She tried the machine for me, and then I did. I could fully remember. It was just a small rope, yeah. So I did the rope. From there, <laughs> anytime she had something to fix, like bending the wrappers, joining, you know, torn bed sheets and all that, I would just do. Wow, interesting. Yeah. That was interesting. You had to play with the machine in order to develop your talent. Exactly. That was indeed impressive. And uh, okay, Auntie. I will want to know how this Ida's idea came about because we know you learned from your grandma and all that but the idea as a whole because we know you have a school in here and then you deal with embroidery and African textiles as a whole. Mm -hmm. So mind telling us a bit about that, the Ida's idea combination as a whole. Okay, um, like I said, it's a long story. Mm -hmm. So just to brief it, mm -hmm. from there I did it at St. Joseph's High School. Mm -hmm. I was a product of St. Joseph's High okay. and then from there I improved myself with Auntie Shan. Mm -hmm. You know, she helped me to be a fashion designer itself because after finishing high school, I couldn't finish the whole, you know, process of being a designer. Um, but the whole idea is when I just thought of, you know, I should be a fashion designer in this country and not only an ordinary fashion designer. But then how can I, how am I going to do that? Because 
like when I got the idea of opening a shop and all that, after spending trainings of um, being a designer at Auntie Chan's place, I was I did it for like five years in and out of Auntie Chan's place, um, St Joseph's High, and all that. So I started traveling. So when I travel, sometimes I would attend these international fashion shows and all that. So, but I was an accountant. I was an accountant, yes, I studied accounting. I was very good in accounting, mm -hmm. but the fashion was all what I wanted like to do. Yes, passion. that was my passion. Okay. So when I started, I, my parents helped me to open a small atelier where I started at Bacau. Mm -hmm. Then after a while, mm -hmm. people, I have something that gave, God gave me and I thank him for that. I am naturally creative. Wow, that is raw talent. We yes, say, and best. which is why you're so unique. You're called the first lady in the Gambian fashion scene. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Okay. So, so I think with the creativity that God gave me, help me more, mm -hmm. because if you want to be a fashion designer, you have to be creative. Sure. And then I thought when I started opening this tailoring shop, mm -hmm. I had only Senegalese tailors, okay. and I think one Freetonian. Mm -hmm. Then I said, I don't think Gambia we can go with this situation. Sure. We have to have fashion designers, we have to have professional tailors. Mm -hmm. And that can only be if we have a school. Sure. Because we had only tailoring centers and then there was nothing like a fashion designing school mm -hmm. that would help the young ones to be a professional fashion designers in future. Sure. So then I said, there's no school like that in this country, but IDAS ideas will try and do something about that. That was how I started thinking of I need to have a land, I need to open a school, build something unique in this country, and then do something to improve the fashion industry in this country. And you have made wonders for that because we have never seen a, a Gambian fashion school at large owned by a woman most especially and venturing in the art of fashion designing as a whole. But nevertheless, Auntie, you did mention in your words per se, um, you, you, were in, you were an accountant and then you had to venture into fashion because you were passionate about it. Well, that is noted, viewers, she was an accountant but later fell in love with fashion as a whole. Also, Auntie, I um, um, really want to know this, like... Uh, the IDAS idea thing, mm -hmm. I know it is a broad institution, so we might want to know whether you have organized any event or taken part in any. I, I, I represented Gambia in so many international events, fashion shows, mm -hmm. exhibition trade fairs, mm -hmm. and IDAS ideas have a name in this country. Um, I thank God that anything the government does, mm -hmm. like something that would bring the fashion industry in this country move forward mm -hmm. i'm always part of it and i thank god for that mm -hmm. so we have a name and we, we we make sure we try to maintain that mm -hmm. image and all that because we've worked hard for that. i've worked sure. hard for that sure, yeah, sure. yes i've nice. worked hard to maintain my name and then to maintain the good work mm -hmm. and the good name that i have in this country and I appreciate the support that all the Gambians are giving me yeah. because, and the trust mm -hmm. they give me. Mm -hmm. Because without that, yeah. then I alone cannot do all this. Workload will be too much, wherein we, I had to scroll through your Facebook page and I see wonders that you've been doing because you do certify your, your, your upcoming students and that is very, very good and encouraging as a whole. But nevertheless, Auntie, we'll want to know um, how are sales going on after this pandemic, or let's say in this pandemic, mm -hmm. how is the fashion industry marketing like? Um, like I said, this is something that is all over the whole world. Mm -hmm. The pandemic has affected all businesses. Sure. Yes, so it has affected us, that uh, affected everybody. Mm -hmm. So now we are just trying to work very hard to, because we have so many losses within this couple of months. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to go back to where we were. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be easy because it will take time, sure. but we have a idea of, you know, always make sure you, 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 you are strong and firm when it comes to doing your business and working hard to make sure your business moves forward. So we have that power. Mm -hmm. So I'm working very hard to make sure it goes back to the level, mm -hmm. but for now, mm -hmm. things are really, really down. 
Yeah, that's true. And with that, we'll want to know what type of trends are you in in fashion because we see some people are into this garambuba and all that. But with Ida's idea, I believe there is a lot of creativity whereby you don't specify in one thing. So mind telling us where, which area of fashion you're centered on? Okay, I ha I ha I'm centered on all because we do design for men, mm -hmm. youths, mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. ladies, mm -hmm. European, African. So we are in all sectors of fashion. Wow. Yes, because um, having a school that mm -hmm. entails everything that has something to do with fashion, mm -hmm. you don't just have to stick on one place. Sure. Yeah, because this school we have students who study designing, okay. garment construction. Mm -hmm. um, you have you have a lot that you can wow. you, you that entails in ideas ideas. Wow. So that is why I cannot just emphasize on one particular you know mm -hmm. fashion thing. It's it's general. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's general. And which would it will help the general public as a whole. But nevertheless, uh, my final question to you would be: We know um, hosting this big institution, there will be challenges alongside. So mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit, or let's say, give us a tip of the something. challenges. Yeah. Yes, um, it has a lot of challenges, especially when I started this foundation of building this place. Mm -hmm. And then up to this level, mm -hmm. I would thank God that it, he gave me the support and strength because I had no support from financially, mm -hmm. support from no one, mm -hmm. but thank to Allah mm -hmm. with my hard working mm -hmm. and support of my husband also. Mm -hmm. um, I had to do everything on my own. Yes, I had to do everything on my own without no support from nobody. And the only support that I have here is the land, which is the biggest support I could ever get. The land was given to me by the former president. Um, and there was not a single bottle that was paid here. When I did my project document and took it to him and told him the aim and objective that I have for this place, straight away I was given the land. As a Gambian, he was very pleased about it. Mm -hmm. So he, they supported me and gave me this land. Then I did all the building by myself mm -hmm. without no loan. It's just all hard working. Wow. It took me like five years of very hard mm -hmm. work. But I thank God it completed. Okay, thank you, Auntie. Uh, we'll go for this short break and we'll be right back. The show still continues. Welcome to the Gambia. This is where we call the land of smiling coast. Welcome back viewers, this is the second phase of the show and like usual we'll be showing you her collection and the materials that she deals with in the art of fashion. Auntie, welcome back to the second phase of the show. Thank you. Okay, Auntie, I've seen a lot and indeed very creative. They're very nice and unique. Mm -hmm. Mind telling us something about these materials? Okay, um, this is our main section. Okay. We have this, oh, this whole area is for men and then the back side mm -hmm. is, the, is for bags. Okay. So these are... We call it super size. The fa is the latest fashion on yeah, this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can you can use this in all occasions. Sure. Yeah, you can use this in office, go to meetings, weddings, and all that. Yeah, and auntie, if somebody would be needing this type of cloth, mm -hmm. come pricing. We have now price tag with Najifa from work on media, but nevertheless, kubugarek ah numbers showing on the screen. You can contact them to get something more classy, more efficient than this. She deals with such unique outfits that are suitable for every occasion. Mm -hmm. So. Be and we have the materials and every, okay. everything inside. Ah, so basically you have the materials. Yes, we provide the materials and then they are very high quality wow. materials and then you can choose whatever color you want. Then we take your measurement and then 
design it for you. Okay, and we are not just seeing African materials. We are seeing materials behind which are, let's say, um, that of a European standard style. style. Yeah. So, Auntie Bina, she deals uh, with almost everything. everything. Yeah. yeah, all the Western <laughs> and Gambian or African outfits. She deals with everything. So, here is the men's section whereby guys can come in and uh, check for materials that they believe would suit them tight for any occasion. I mean, absolutely everything. If you want to look classy, sassy, and of course, that cute extraordinary appearance you can come to this men's section to find a unique wear for yourself as a guy Okay, Auntie, we have also came to this side and we have seen so much. Let's say, uh, I'm going to to see you. Wow. Wow. Even in materials, like, come like, so we your dress. I'm going to dress down. Wow. Then you see season with December. December. Wow. So you're going to turn a piece, I'm going to get some measurement. You're going to dress. Dress your hand. I'm going to dress. I'm going to dress. I'm going to dress. I'm going to dress. I'm very happy. Ne? Um, you're going to be so aware of me. You're going to be so aware of me. You're going to but I don't So, this is my beauty, and then you're a piece, you're not a lane, you're a lane, if you dress, you're rough at that. So, you piece heavy, a piece of dress, I kill you. December, we are right in December, and if you would need your evening wear, or let's say classic uh, dresses, you can come to Auntie Ida's Ideas to get yourself that unique outfit and alongside get your extraordinary measurement. Viewers, uh, before we go, I would like to give thanks to Keva Stillerin for doing my this beautiful outfit. I'm thanking you so very much, Keva Kontana Tarap, and for the nails. Uh, I did not thank JB. JB, you did justice to my hands, and I'm so grateful for that. And thank you, and Ida, for having me. Thank you for and having for, you guys. for accepting our invitation due to a prompt time. But nevertheless, viewers, till we come your way next, stay tuned. Bye for now. Yeah.